The life and sad ending of Norma Tanega. First known for her bouncy 1966 hit Walkin' My Cat named Dog, singer, songwriter, experimental musician, teacher, and painter Norma Tanega had a longer and more complex career than that song might suggest. Though the title track of her 1966 album was a whimsical mix of Greenwich Village folk and mainstream pop, the signs that she was an individualistic artist were already there in the sardonic tone of Your Dead and Hey Girl, her subversive take on Lead Bellies in the Pines. When her early success wasn't repeated, she continued to make music on her own terms, whether writing songs for her lover Dusty Springfield Oregon collaborating with Blossom Deary in the early 70s, adding touches of psych rock to her 1971 album I Don't Think It, Will Hurt, If You Smile, or creating avant-garde sounds with later projects such as Ceramic Ensemble, Hybrid Vigor, and Baboons. By the 2010s, Tanega was recognized as a free spirit and innovator, with artists such as Yola Tengo, They Might Be Giants, and The O.C.'s adding her songs to their repertoires. Tanega was born in Vallejo, California in 1939 to a Panamanian mother and a Filipino father who was a bandmaster for the United States Navy and eventually led his own band after 30 years of service. After moving to Long Beach at age 2, she started classical piano lessons at age 9. She was equally passionate about visual art and directed her high school's art gallery during her senior year. She attended Scripps College on a full scholarship and earned her MFA from Claremont Graduate School in 1962. With her studies completed, Tanega traveled Europe, then moved to New York City. Living in Greenwich Village, she became a part of the thriving folk music scene. Along with working at a mental hospital, where Shedd performed songs for the patients, Tanega also worked summers as a music counselor at a camp in the Catskill Mountains. Producer Herb Bernstein saw her perform there and introduced her to producer and songwriter Bob Crew, most famous for his work with The Four Seasons. Tanega signed to Crew's new voice label in 1965 and released her debut single, Walkin' My Cat Named Dog, in 1966. Inspired by her real life pet, the song mixed folk rock with New York pop soul production. It became an international hit, reaching number three in Canada and peaking at number 22 on the US and UK charts. The song's popularity spawned covers by Barry Maguire, Art Blakey, and the Jazz Crusaders, as well as versions in Danish, Dutch, and French. To promote Walken and her full-length album, also called Walkin' My Cat Named Dog Tanega appeared on American Bandstand and where the action as and was the sole female performer on a North American tour that included Gene Pitney, Chad and Jeremy, and Bobby Goldsboro on the lineup. Later in 1966, she toured England and performed on the TV show Ready, Steady, Go, where she met Dusty Springfield. The pair hit it off, and Tanega moved to London to be with Springfield. Along with painting, Tanega spent her time writing songs, many of which Springfield recorded. These included No Stranger Am I, which first appeared on Walkin' My Cat Named Dog, and Come for a Dream, which Tanega co-wrote with Antonio Carlos Jobim. She worked with Blossom Deary on a song that appeared on Deary's 1970 album That's Just the Way I Want to Be, and also pursued her own music career. Working with the Viscounts Don Paul and producer, keyboardist Mike Moran, she recorded her second album, 1971's I Don't Think It Will Hurt If You Smile, a set of songs inspired by her relationship with Springfield that added touches of psych rock to her sound. However, the album didn't repeat Tanega's earlier chart success, and by 1972, her relationship with Springfield was over. Tanega returned to Claremont, California, and embarked on a long career as a teacher. Along with teaching art, music, and English as a second language in the city's schools, she became an adjunct professor at California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. She continued to paint and make music, 
switching from folk to more experimental sounds and often performing as a percussionist. During the 80s, she performed with the Ceramic Ensemble, a project led by Scripps Ceramics professor Brian Ransom that played handmade instruments. In the 90s, she founded the group Hybrid Vigor with Mike Henderson. The duo released its self-titled debut in 1996 and became a trio with the inclusion of Rebecca Jam on 2000's 2x3. Around this time, Tanega began working with Robert Graeta as the Latin Lizards, whose eponymous album appeared in 2001. Two years later, she teamed up with John Zaretsky on Push. Along with reuniting with Ransom for 2008's Internal Medicine, she also teamed up with guitarist Tom Skelly and bassist Mario Verlangeri as Baboons, who also released their self-titled debut album that year. Two more albums followed. 2009's Ha! and 2011's Eight Songs Eight Brains. The following year, Tanega and Steve Rushing Wind Ruiz issued the album Twin Journeys. By the early 2010s, the reputation of Tanega's earlier music had grown, and artists including They Might Be Giants, VOCs, Dr. Hook, and Yola Tengo covered songs from her first album. In 2014, her profile got another boost with the use of her song You're Dead in the vampire mockumentary film What We Do in the Shadows. The historic preservation center Claremont Heritage held an exhibition of her paintings in 2018. A year later, Tanega not passed from colon cancer at age 80.